Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be covering ADM. This is a food company, and it tends to be a nice, stable company. Doesn't go up a lot, doesn't go down a lot, and they pay a dividend. They announced their earnings about a week ago, and I have a fresh set of financial statements to take a look at and reevaluate this company to decide whether I should buy more shares, hold, or sell my shares in ADM. I'd like to take you through my process and my valuation of ADM and uh, let you know what I'm going to decide on this company. Do me a big favor and like my video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave a comment on ADM. Really love to hear what you think of the company. Now let's get into my process in ADM. I've created a process for myself to determine whether I want to invest in a company or I should stay away from a company. It involves four questions followed by a decision to buy, hold, or sell. And the first question I ask is, is this a company that I would want to be a part owner in? And do I like the industry? Do I think the management team is operating the company well? Is debt under control and less than three times EBITDA? And am I getting a discount on the stock? Therefore, I could see my investment go up in value over time. And based on the answers to those questions, I buy, hold, or sell a particular stock. So ADM has been around for a long time, and it really works with a lot of farmers to help them get their crops to market, and they participate in the revenues for that, and uh, I think make a reasonable profit in doing so. I like that they're a part of a very stable industry, which is farming, and I think that ADM is going to be around for a long time. It's a re very respected company with a respected brand. Um, so those are the positives about ADM. I like the industry. This is not an industry where I would expect that, hey, this my investment's going to double in the next you know couple of years. No, nope. um, this is a kind of a slow, uh, slow rise, slow drop kind of stock, very stable. But that has you know a good. Uh, there's good reasons to have a stock like ADM in my portfolio. Um, I do have some pretty exciting technology stocks, pharmaceutical stocks that are, you know, go up and down very quickly. But ADM is a very, you know, stable company. And I put it into my income portfolio of stocks that pay a dividend. ADM announced their earnings about a week ago. And I'm taking a look at their income statement first to see how they operated the business and see how they're doing overall. So the quarter, they did go down in revenue. If you compare the third quarter of 23 compared to the third quarter of 22, revenues went from 24.6 billion in the quarter down to 21.6. Now the profit of the company was was fairly good. You could see that hey uh, they maintained their profits uh, even though they had a pretty good drop in revenue, uh, and that's just based on commodity prices for food. I think the consumption rate is about the same. People are still eating food, but uh, the prices have gone down. The earnings per share were, were fairly good considering that um, the revenues had dropped. Overall for, for the year, revenues are down about $5 billion, which isn't a big drop. And um, again, this is a stable company in a stable industry. So overall the, the business is profitable, which is good. Um, and, uh, It'd be nice to see commodity prices rise and then ADM uh, revenues rise with that. I use free cash flow as one of my principal valuation methods. So I'm going to look at the income, the statement of free cash flows and see how it's changed. And if I look at the first nine months of 23, you can see that it's really dropped quite a bit compared to 22. And that drop is concerning if you, um, have a big drop, and it was about a 66% drop in free cash flow, that will affect the valuation of ADM um, because free cash flows, to me, are the most important metric as I value a company. So it was concerning that it drops so much. I believe that ADM stock is currently being sold at a premium of 21%. What that means is I think each share is really worth $58 a share, but it's trading at $73.13. Let's take a look at uh, how I came up with my valuation. The first method is using free cash flows, and I'm actually taking um, what I believe is a good cash flow stream to start with, which is $1.2 billion, and then growing that, that free cash over the first four years by 10%, and then 4% 
after year four. That is what I believe the company is going to produce in the form of free cash flows. And I'm going to discount all the free cash flows that I expect from the company by 8%, which is the weighted average cost of capital. To get to a value of all those free cash flows at net present value of $35.4 billion. I'm going to add the cash and take away debt to get to an equity value of $28.5 billion. But the company is has a higher market cap than what I believe the company is worth. It's actually trading at a 28% premium if you look at the free cash flow method of valuing ADM. Earnings per share are good. And if I value based on the earnings per share that I expect in the next four quarters against a PE of 14.2, which is reasonable for a company like ADM in their industry, I actually get to a premium of 5%. When I combine the two, I get that 21% premium. I pour more, more weight in the free cash flow method versus the earnings per share method. So overall, I believe that the, the stock is uh, overpriced and, and uh, trading at a 21% premium. The ADM stock year to date is down 16.75%. And if you look at where the stock's been in the last five years, it had a great rise beginning in 2020, it really went up. It, uh, geez, almost tripled in value. Actually, it did triple in value if you uh, had bought at its low point. And I think part of that was we had a lot of inflation in food prices. So ADM, their top line revenue really grew and they became really profitable. They've been uh, now trading down at $72.91. I have a value of $58. So you can see that there is a premium on the stock currently. So what should I do with my investment in ADM? Well, let me scorecard the company and then make that decision. So I do think the company is a good company, great uh, brand. They have a very good history, a very solid company. And I like the industry, which is tied to farming and the food industry, very stable. I think the company is operating and performing well, very well run business. Debt is less than three times EBITDA, and but there's no discount available. I'm actually would need to pay a premium on um, on on the share price compared to where I think the company is really valued. So I'm going to be selling my shares in EDM and waiting for one of two things to happen: either they really increase their free cash flow and change their valuation, or the stock price comes down to a point where I would get a nice discount and I could buy shares at a better, better um, acquisition price and then see that investment go up over time. So that's my video on ADM. I hope you found it interesting. I'd love to hear your comments on the company, what you think of ADM and um, uh, read those comments. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Good luck investing in 2023.